Hello, I'm Anna D'Ambrosio, president of Munson Williams Proctor Arts Institute. On behalf of the students, faculty, staff, and trustees of the Institute, it is my pleasure to have the opportunity to celebrate Pratt MWP's class of 2020. All of us are heartbroken that we're not together and celebrating on campus. When the closing of our campus was initiated, I had many conversations with parents and with students, but one conversation really sticks out in my mind. It was the mother of a sophomore. That mom's concern was not the loss of spring break or the potential of online learning, but the importance of commencement, the opportunity to celebrate two years of hard work, some struggles, lots of fun, and lots of dedication and long hours in the studio and classroom, and the creativity and amazing growth of her daughter. You students are the next generation of creatives. You are resilient and you are strong. Class of 2020, more than nearly any of the graduates that came before you, you are an inspiration to us. The faculty and staff and your family and friends are proud of what you have accomplished at Pratt MWP. And you have overcome obstacles that we could never have imagined. One only needs to explore the amazing work that has been celebrated in social media and seen in the many exhibitions on campus to see the heights to which you have risen in only two years and to know within the next two and beyond, you will set the world on fire. Let me take a moment to thank parents, family members, and friends for the encouragement and support they've provided throughout the past two years from the sacrifices and worries to the euphoria and pride. Your families and loved ones have been with you on your journey. journey. Thank you all for what you have done for the Pratt MWP students and for believing in them. I also want to extend my deep appreciation to the faculty and staff. Our faculty is amazing. All accomplished artists in their own right they are exceptionally dedicated and passionate about Pratt MWP and our students. The faculty have taught, encouraged, and mentored each student, helping them to grow as humans as well as artists. Equally, our staff, admissions and finance, registrar, student life, library, and support staff, each has helped to nurture and care for your students and to provide a safe and engaging living environment. Thank you all. When we gathered together two years ago for convocation, we were reminded that we were drawn to Pratt MWP and to a creative path because art matters. And we are all here today because now more than ever, we know that art transforms lives. Art is an expression of what makes us human and of what we find important. The arts convey our emotions, preserve our culture, provide entertainment and education, and inspire us. Personal encounters with artworks engage us, teach us to think critically, and move us emotionally. In artwork, whether an icon by Andy Warhol, a landscape by Thomas Cole, or a painting, drawing, photograph, video, or piece of jewelry by one of our own students. Each piece engages us and enhances our ability not just to look, but to truly see and understand the world around us. Today, more than ever, we see creative culture at the center of what brings us together, of what makes us human, and what enables us to express ourselves in times of grief, chaos, and celebration. That is what Pratt MWP Class of 2020 has accomplished. They have persevered through difficult times because of their personal strength and because of their belief in the power of the arts. As you move to the Brooklyn campus or another school to complete your degree and then move into the larger world, I encourage you to always find ways to promote the arts in your communities. 
You can accomplish this through work, with your own creative projects, through public advocacy, or through volunteer or financial support. It is so important because government and corporate funding for the arts is not enough. We must all do what we can to keep the arts at the forefront of education, community, and a balanced life. Always remember where your career started. Pratt MWP provided you the foundation for your future success, honed your skills and taught you to think, to articulate your ideas and to bring them to fruition in new ways. And please stay connected with us. We want to share your accomplishments. We want you to come back to campus, see how things have changed, to meet with current students, to promote Pratt MWP, and to participate as a proud alum. Thank you, Pratt MWP Class of 2020, for the gift of having you on our campus. And thank you for the gift of enhancing our ability to appreciate you and your vision through your artwork. Best wishes to each of you. Until we can meet again on our campus or down in Brooklyn, I wish you all great success in the fall in your careers. Please take good care. Hello everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Pratt MWP commencement. I want to start by thank, saying thank you to the people who have made this unfortunate and unpredictable conclusion of our school year palatable and significant. First, I want to acknowledge the hard work of our professors who pulled together the end of the semester through online instruction and worked tirelessly to transcend the situation and continue to interact and share with you their wealth of knowledge. I'm going to acknowledge our full-time faculty by name, but also want to recognize the incredible job done by our many adjuncts who have been spectacular through this ordeal. Now, as I say their names, in your absence, I am imagining the usual ovation of cheers that students usually reap upon each of these extraordinary professors every year. Steve Arneson, Professor of Drawing and Painting. Dan Buckingham, Professor of Sculpture and 3D Design. Chris Cirillo, Associate Professor of Drawing and Painting. Ted Ford, Assistant Professor of Art History. Chris Eyrick, Professor of Jewelry and Metal Arts. Cindy Corrin, Professor of Communication Design. Greg Lawler, Professor of Drawing and Painting. Leah McDonald, Visiting Assistant Professor of Communication Design. Brian McGrath, Professor of Ceramics and 3D Design. Claudine Metric, and it is my pleasure to announce the promotion of Claudine Metric from Assistant to Associate Professor of Drawing and Painting. Congratulations to Claudine. Sarah Smith, Assistant Professor of Photography. Sandra Stevens, Associate Professor of 4D Design. Taro Takazawa, Visiting Assistant Professor of Printmaking. Sean Yusick, Visiting Assistant Professor of Illustration. Next, I'd like to thank the Student Life staff. This team has done so much throughout the year, and over the last several weeks, it isn't possible to acknowledge it all. Those of you, and there are many, who have had communication with this team know their dedication and commitment to your success while you have been part of this campus. I can't say enough about all they have done, but I can say thank you. Shannon Shantz, Student Life Director. Josh Drehos, Activities Coordinator. Amanda Craigshank, Health Counselor. Charlotte Whitney, Resident Life Coordinator. I would also like to say thank you to Angela Markin, our Registrar, whose work made registration for both the freshman and rising sophomore class go smoother than I can ever remember. 
Her organization and problem solving skills have been a wonderful asset throughout the year. And Shannon Stockbridge, our School of Art Gallery Coordinator. The effort she has put forth to create and curate the online exhibition of your work the last month awes me. In a time where I can't wander through the classroom and look over your shoulders, seeing the work online has been a pleasure and acknowledgement of the hard work and success you have had over your two years here. Finally, I'd like to thank President Anna D'Ambrosia Brogio for her continued leadership and guidance in what continues to be a time where there are more questions than answers. Hello, Pratt class of 2020, and congratulations. You have persevered and ready to relocate to the Pratt campus. I could never have imagined I would be giving a commencement address in a situation I could not be looking at your faces, shaking your hands one last time, and gushing with enthusiasm with your museum exhibition in the gallery behind me. I reflect on the emotional and confusing exodus you made from campus, and I'm sad at the impact of losing the opportunity to watch your work thrive in the last several weeks of the semester. I'm still thrilled to see the work online, but it's not nearly the same as standing next to it or you in the gallery. And that is the thing, isn't it? Those who have had me as an instructor know my almost fanatical adherence to the idea that there is no more magical place on earth than the art classroom. Yes, there's still an encyclopedic amount of knowledge that, you can, that can be shared online, but the unpredictable moments of discovery, spontaneous conversations and revelations that activate every sense, concept and emotion can present themselves fleetingly and permanently at any time in the classroom. More than you can take in at any given moment and sometimes more than can be taken in in a lifetime. It is an echo of life and you are sharing this with peers that know who you are and where you come from and some will forever be that source of support if you need to pull yourself back into the studio. I'm glad that for most of your time with us, you got to know that shared experience. And now I think about the last several weeks of the semester and having the move to online learning. It is different in so many ways, but being one that tries to always find the positive of any situation, I have thought how this online learning adventure may be one that was painful, unwelcome, and definitely not in anyone's syllabus, but may have provided you with an awareness and insight that will propel you to greater success as you finish out your time at Pratt. In school, you are provided a structured schedule, prepared workspaces, tools, and supportive environment that allows and encourages you to focus on your work. This is by design, as those things may be the hardest physical components to acquire once you are out of school. But they are not what makes you an artist. That comes from within, and your communication with your faculty nurtures those instincts. Faculty also focus on teaching you craftsmanship, and particularly relevant right now, effective studio practices and habits to make you more productive, during the limited time when you can get into the studio. Franz Kafka said, evil is whatever distracts, and we are now living in a world with a lot of distractions. We have seen a wide gamut of situations of what you have been contending with, trying to work in awkward spaces, various living and home situations, and dealing with the monster that brought all of this to us, the Corona-19 virus. I liken making work in this situation to somebody randomly calling out numbers as you simultaneously try to do math equations in your head. Not easy and requiring, in some cases, an unattainable level of focus and commitment. I commend all of you for your efforts and energy these last seven weeks. As you move on to Pratt, and I hope we will be able to start things off in a normal fashion. But if not, you'll be able to bring to any circumstance an understanding 
that the best way to rise above a situation is a committed focus and determination to make your art happen, no matter what the obstacle. You only need to look at your work that is posted online for a second to realize the enormous amount of talent you as a class possess. In the next two years, you will reach higher plateaus and we will receive great accolades about your achievements. In closing, I once again congratulate you on all you have achieved and I wish we could have finished the semester under better conditions. I hope you will come back here in the future and visit us under better, better circumstances and keep in touch with us as you move through Pratt. Just as you have heard us speak glowingly of students that have come before you, so will we speak of you in the coming years.
Hi, everybody, and congratulations on completing two years at Munson William Proctor. I look forward to seeing all of you when you relocate down to the Pratt campus in the fall. My name is Donna Moran, and I met many of you at your um, Accepted Students Day, and then some of you in the cafeteria uh, last year when I came to visit. I just want to assure you that the Pratt faculty and students are really looking forward to your arrival, and I hope some of you will end up taking my class. I've had many students who do, and um, I've really enjoyed my relationship with them. Um, I also want to remind some of you that I am the faculty athletic representative for our NCAA Division III teams, and I hope if any of you are interested in sports, you will contact me, and I will put you in touch with the proper coach. In any case, have a wonderful time, and I'm sorry that we are not meeting in person. Thank you. Bye-bye.